Oh yes, it just said record then. Yep. Oh. Yeah, yep, now. you're off. Hello and welcome to the Blue Room Live blog. This is a live forum where 25 local artists have been invited to share their view on theatre and live art in Perth. Tonight's blogger is Tim Watts. Thank you very much, Renee. Uh, <laughs> yes, hello everyone out there. My name is, in fact, Tim Watts, 10 points, Renee. Um, I am a local Perth artist. Um, I am a former theatre maker done some other stuff as well, but that's primarily where I put my stuff in performing. Um, and I was uh, asked to do one of these live blogs and I was very honoured. Thank you very much, Jancis. She's with us right here. Big round of applause. Put your hands <laughs> out there. Yes, thank you very much, my adoring fans. Um, to talk a little bit about uh, my recent uh, travelling and touring experiences and how that affects my uh, understanding of my of, of Perth, Perth art scene and myself as an artist in Perth. Um, so, and in, the thing that travelling does, which a lot of people probably know, is that it gives you another perspective of another culture, of your own culture. It's what, it's what it kind of does, you get another viewpoint. Um, and so that's primarily what it did uh, for me. Um, and the, the most important thing that it did, Chris, uh, another, another piece of person here, you don't care, you're on the internet, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Is it, is it gave me, it gave me an understanding, a profound understanding of how much I really appreciate Perth. I think Perth is fantastic. It's got so many opportunities for young artists to produce, create, develop, and tour work. I mean, we've got so many uh, companies here, a la The Blue Room, um, just next to them, Propel Arts, and I mean, D DCA, and loads, so many um, corporations, uh, corporations, well, corporations as well, actually, um, who also give so much money to the arts, but so many, um, places that really are passionate and dedicated to developing theatre in Perth and that is just so awesome and I know people have you know um, complained a bit about DCA that DCA by the way for those of you who might be watching this who aren't from Perth is our local funding body um, they and I mean yeah they get they get some things wrong but they are so dedicated to um, uh, bettering the theatre culture in Perth which is not an easy task and I think they do a pretty good job so give me some money. Uh, there you go, sidle up to you on the little internet couch. Um, yeah, so th th I, I, Perth is just so great for opportunities to make shows and, um, and such great people to make shows with here. Uh, I really um, missed um, people when I was away. I wasn't even away that long, but I still missed people um, and I really appreciated what I had here. Um, and when I was about to embark on my my trip, which wasn't even that long, but I say embark, like as if I was going on a boat and everyone's waving. Um, it was, I had this very romantic uh, idea about the theatre in Europe and the theatre in the other side of the world, and you know, because all I'd seen is the crummy theatre in Perth, you know, what's that, it's nothing, but you know, the theatre in Europe, my goodness. And I saw some amazing stuff, I, I did, I saw some great things, you know, really inspiring things, but I saw some some god awful rubbish. I like the worst shows I've ever seen in my life. Definitely uh, in Prague, um, Edinburgh, and Montreal. Uh, rubbish shows. I also saw some amazing shows there, um, and, and and it just made me go, yeah, Ashley. Um, it's kind of like a universal ratio. Uh, that's kind of simple. You know, Perth's got some shit stuff and some good stuff, and you know, other worlds they got some shit stuff and some good stuff. But you know, it's just that there's more of it over there. You know, you got more good stuff and you got more rubbish stuff. So. Um, it kind of made me go, yeah, Perth's all right. Perth's, Perth's, Perth's doing okay. And um, in fact, there was a study done recently by DCA, our local funding body. So, <laughs> dot point. Um, <laughs> no, but they, uh, it was a, they commissioned an intellectual. Which, just side note, how cool is that for a career name? I'm an intellectual. That's what his job was to be an intellectual. Um, and he uh, analysed the Perth art scene uh, and as to why we hadn't had our cultural boom. We'd had our financial boom. Which now we've had our financial crash, but you know we're doing all right. We're doing better than most. Um, but you know why we hadn't had our cultural boom. Um, and one of the main points, the one that resonated with me the most, um, was that we don't really celebrate our achievements here. Um, we kind of just go, ah, oh, that was pretty good for Perth, um, <laughs> and we don't really acknowledge it as something that's really valid. Um, and this also causes artists, particularly young artists, but you know, artists of all ages, inclusive, um, to feel like they can't have uh, artistic success and a, a successful career in Perth. Um, and I think this is 
sort of exemplified. Um, oh, really? Five minutes already? Jeez. Um, by the fact that our, um, our, our course, our training course, which is arguably one of the best in Australia, arguably, um, WAPA, uh, they, the combination of that course um, is a showcase where the, the, the students um, essentially promote themselves and sell themselves to agents over east, um, which is which is a bit sad. Um, it's it's completely realistic because we don't really have the industry that supports that. But it's just a bit of a it's just a bit of a sad set of affairs. And that's really our only training institution. We had some others, but they kind of got kneecapped a bit, um, which happens. You know, with a bit of a mining town and that sort of um, happens. They get rid of them to do some mining courses, which is fine. I mean, that that's what happens. But it's not really fine. It'd be good if there was you know. Bit of a different situation. Um, 